I met him in the summer of 2009. He was perfect. My family said that he was like too good to be true. And my friends are like, oh my God, there's nothing wrong with him. He's amazing. I wish I had a guy like that. But um, it really didn't take very long for things to become apparent about who he really was. When I was a young girl, oh, I had me a cowboy. He wasn't much to look at, just a free ram man. The day he shot me, I remember that he started making weird, jealous comments about my cat, how I valued an animal over him. I really needed a break from him that evening. I was putting eyeshadow on in my mirror and I heard some rustling. The next thing I knew, the cat was attacking him. She was hissing and snarling. He grabbed her by her scruff and he threw her as hard as he could. I just got the sinking feeling when I heard him loading his gun from his lockbox with the bullets. And I'd um, gone into the kitchen to get him a glass of water and I was trying to breathe myself and telling him to breathe and trying to keep him calm and keep him um, in the house. I was terrified he was gonna go running out in the street on a Friday night and go on a shooting spree. So I placed myself between the door and him and the next thing I knew, I heard loud shots being fired. I got shot with a hollow point 45, which is this bullet right here. It went through my right arm and there was about a two inch hole you could see through the ground here. Went through my right um, upper maxillary bone, shattered five teeth, lacerated my tongue, trapped bullet and teeth and all kinds of things in my tongue, and then shattered my entire um, mandible. I've kind of taken upon myself to testify on bills that um, protect someone like myself and other women. You know, the last four years, I've had hundreds of doctor appointments and 13 reconstructive surgeries and, you know, chronic pain in my neck. And, you know, I had to rehabilitate my voice and I can't play piano anymore with my right hand. I feel like I lost my, my 20s to the hospital. That's why it's so important for me because I don't think anyone should have to feel that way. I don't want anyone else to have to feel what I've gone through. And, you know, part of it is I just want to show all of those mean, hurtful people that I come across in my life and on the internet that um, I'm a force to be reckoned with. I'm alive and well.